Now, the United Nations' most powerful body has unanimously approved a resolution against foreign fighters joining jihadist ranks in the Middle East. A few hours before the special meeting of the Security Council was called, American President Barack Obama addressed the General Assembly defending the U.S.-led military campaign against militants in Syria and Iraq, actions that the U.N. did not authorize. RT's Anastasia Cherkina has more. So far, the 69th session of the U.N. General Assembly has really been nothing but uh, eventful. Certainly, this kick started with a statement we heard from Ban Ki-moon, which certainly seemed to set the tone of the events we've seen unravel so far. He did say that this year has really been terrible for the U.N. Charter. And this really seems to have been a good statement because the uh, uh, messages that we kept hearing all throughout the day, really a lot of them seem to be raising certain concerns about double standards being applied. And one of those, of course, has to be uh, uh, the highlight, which was the speech of the U.S. President Barack Obama addressing the U.N. General Assembly, of course, uh, traditionally and not quite unexpectedly blaming Russia for all, the, uh, all that's bad in uh, Ukraine. And he's also said, described it as aggression in Europe, said that Russia has been uh, breaking international norms and pouring arms and fueling violence on the ground. And certainly these statements we've heard before, but the reason they're curious today is because they are coming at a time where it seems it might have been a good idea for the United States to look in the mirror, especially considering that these statements are made while airstrikes over Syria without its approval are continuing on and on. And, uh, of course, despite the ongoing airstrikes over Syria that the United States is currently spearheading, Barack Obama today at the United Nations Security Council did, in fact, talk about continuing to hope to pursue a political solution on the ground. Take a listen. Even as we are unrelenting against terrorists who threaten our people, we must redouble our work to address the conditions, the repression, <laughs> the lack of opportunity, too often the hopelessness that can make some individuals more susceptible to appeals to extremism and violence. And this includes continuing to pursue a political solution in Syria that allows all Syrians to live in security, dignity, and peace.